Hello you guys, this is Robert Bankston of The Method Reports, LLC. I'm here today with Mickey Dai Ishikawa of Asheville, North Carolina. We're actually up in New York today, she's in my kitchen, and uh, I'm working with her on YouTube. Help her promote her business, which is Things From Home, Inc. And uh, you guys should check out her website, it's thingsfromhomeinc.com. They sell uh, all kinds of soap and gift baskets and all things like that. So today we're making soap right here in Robert Bankston's kitchen. And I'm going to be videoing and interviewing Mrs. Ish Dai Ishikawa. Okay, so let's, uh, I'm going to put you on pause, take you over to the kitchen and see what she's doing. Okay, you guys, this is Mrs. Dai Ishikawa. Mickey is her first name. Say hello, Mickey. Hi, everybody. And this is the beginning of the process here. And what exactly do you have on the cutting board? This is an all-vegetable glycerin base okay and this is the beginning of my product and why are you chopping it up like that you cut it up so it melts a little quicker all right and then I'm gonna put it in this pan you always have stainless steel wood or plastic because of the reaction with the glycerin okay now how does this arrive at your house this uh, this base I purchased this in 50 pound boxes and I cut them up and it is the all vegetable base for my soap. Alrighty. And then take it over here and I put it in a water bath. Okay, what is this for? What are we doing? Now we're going to melt the glycerin. And we turn it down on a low to medium heat. You don't want to heat it high. You want to heat it as slow and low as you can. Okay. And what is all the stuff on the counter here? <clears throat> These are the extra ingredients that I put in my soap. Okay. That make it special. What kind of stuff do you put in there? This is fresh goat's milk. Tell, her, is... tell them how fresh we're talking about here. If it got any fresher, you'd be milking the goat. <laughs> That's what it is. Let me show, show them a picture here of the, uh, I don't know if you guys could see. That's Mickey right there, the soap maker with Polly the goat. Thank you, Polly, for the milk. Okay. And uh, I think actually this, this here is you've already separated out all your ingredients. I've already separated out all the ingredients that I put in. I use fresh goat's milk. I use palm kernel, all natural palm kernel oil. My soap is created with all natural products, some organic and um, all natural. Alrighty. We have palm kernel oil, which adds to the hardness of the soap and makes a really good lather. Then we have unrefined organic raw coconut oil, which again adds to the moisturizing benefit and makes a really good lather for the soap. Then I have shea butter, which actually is has an SPF of 6, and it is just a wonderful moisturizer for your skin. Then I have tamanu oil in organic olive oil, and tamanu oil is a cell regenerator. You can put it on directly onto your skin for scars or um, sores or anything like that. Do you, do you put all these ingredients in every bar of soap that you make? Every bar of soap. Okay, so the main base of your soap is the same for every variety that you make? Every variety has the same base. I make the same base and then I change for the essential oil that I use in it, the exfoliants, or the natural color that I add to it. Okay, cool. Is, I think actually this here is a block of your completed base, right? Yes, it is. Okay. This, this is the base. After it's mixed together, I take the glycerin, I add all this, mix it together, and pour it. Usually I do 20-pound batches at a time. Okay, wow, that's, that's small artisan type of uh, soap making. This is totally handmade in my little kitchen, and um, it is small batches right now, so I pay particular attention to what I do with my soap. Do you use uh, cheap type of stuff or no? Any of the no? Cheap. Let let these people know what you're working with. Um, well, the organic, unrefined, raw coconut oil is cold centrifuged, 
and it's the finest you can get. Shea butter, raw, unrefined shea butter, great quality. Then I have the Tamanu oil in organic olive oil. It's really good stuff. It's all top of the line stuff. Top then. This, of the line. This is not uh, chemical stuff or no. anything like that. No. And then I have vitamin E in organic olive oil. And then I have grapefruit seed extract, which adds an antibacterial property. It's grapefruit seed extract. You can put a drop in your water or your juice to fight colds. You can use a solution to fight baby's nappy diaper rash. Um, it can clean your chopping block. It's the natural disinfectant. And I use that in every one. And then I mix it all together and once this is melted, I let it cool down a little bit because I always want to add things at the lowest temperature possible. So I wait and then I put all this in when it's cooled down a little bit stir it up real good and then I'll pour it up and then it cures for approximately eight weeks or more that I have it cured in this process and then I take from this and I cut this up remelt it at a low temperature again that's when I add my essential oil my exfoliant or my natural color wow. and then I pour it into molds specialty molds I have for holidays and yeah. different things. These and are just small surprises. molds right now because you're making a small batch? Yes. Okay, yes. cool. Um, all right, then what we'll do, I guess we are going to melt melt this glycerin up and uh, create a little batch. We'll add our stuff to it, and then we'll uh, bring the people back to see what we're doing after that. Okay, we'll take another phase. This one is the beginning phase to make the base. Okay. So I'll say, show you how to do that, and then we'll go to another process of creating the bar soap. Say cut. Cut. Okay, thank you, Mickey. We will get back to you in a minute. Thank you.